This video is a complete guide to replacing anything you need in the toilet tank. That includes fill valve replacement, flapper replacement, and handle replacement. In this video, I've taken the tank off of the toilet bowl. However, you can still do all of these repairs while the tank is sitting on the toilet. I just took it off for demonstration purposes. It's easier for you to see how everything goes together. So let's get started. This is my overflow valve, and let me show you how I'm gonna put this in. It's, it's going to sit inside just like this. And then this piece, as you can see, goes here. And I'll be putting that in as well. So this goes here and that goes like that. So you place the overflow valve here, here. And then you put this on the bottom, this huge plastic nut, that's what it is. Screw that in on the bottom. You're gonna tighten it just a little bit. You don't wanna, you don't wanna break that. It's just a plastic, maybe a quarter, quarter turn. And I'm gonna stick this piece on it. These two, actually what I use to attach it to the toilet. Let me show you where this goes in the, inside. So the, the, they have these little washers on it. You'll want new ones because the old ones were super corroded and really bad. So I want those in it, okay? So you wanna make sure that this overflow valve is not in the way of those holes when you put that in. So that's what it looks like when it goes in. And then these, I uh, just put on like this, and this will hold, this will hold these screws in. You need one washer and one nut, okay? When you put the toilet on, we'll do another one on top of this. So this just holds it in the way it is now. And there will be another one going on when we put this on the top of the toilet. So there you go. And then I'll want to probably tighten this just a little bit as well. A couple turns. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do it so tight like really tight because this is also, you know, forcing. You don't want to crack the bowl. All right, so this will go right here like this. It's a little washer so that the water doesn't escape the bowl. That goes like that. Okay, and then this goes in the tank just like this, okay? And now what you want to do is make sure that this line here is e even with the overflow valve here, with the top of the overflow valve. I just kind of eye it, and if it looks like it's on the top, it's good. If it's not, then you can adjust it at the bottom by turning it. So if you turn it like this, you can adjust it until this little line is even with the overflow valve, and I just kind of eye it. And then this, I usually point it so this blue thing goes towards the overflow valve because you're going to have a pipe. You're going to have a little straw going from here to inside there. So I point it that direction. Another thing you may have to do, which is what I had to do, is I had to cut the overflow valve. I had to cut it because it was way too long to get it even with that. So let's tighten this. And if it wasn't off the bowl, you'd have to do this while it's on the toilet. It's a little easier when it's off. We have to do everything. Tighten that. Okay. And it looks like we're good. Now let's put the handle on. I have the handle here. We'll put that through the tank. I've got this little piece. I'm just gonna put it on the top. This is. I turn it the right way. Let's turn it the wrong way. Okay. And you tighten that. That's good, just like that. And then I'll put this while I'm here. You want about an inch of slack on this. I'm gonna put this little hook right in the middle one, just for now. And then when we get, when I put it, all together i'll adjust it next thing we need to do is put on this tube 
Uh, there's a little clamp right here. If you look in here, I'm gonna put it on the overflow tube and uh, I'm gonna put it probably right there. And then this will go on the top of that clamp. You just kind of push it in, push it onto there. And then this has this little clamper that just goes over that, which is really nice. So that holds that on. And then yeah, I come over here to this side and push this side into this little blue tube. Okay. And then this also has a little clamp. I just squeeze, squeeze these two ends right here. And that goes on. This one has this nice little uh, regulator. This is a water regulator. So if I push down on it, then it won't fill up as fast. That's exactly what it should look like. After I put it on the toilet, these washers go on like this. And then these washers go on and then these go on here. And so this tightens it. This will tighten the tank to the toilet itself. You attach your water there and uh, you're ready to go. Let's go put this thing on. Okay, let's put this on. Black. Washer. Washer. Quick note here, I'm just tightening one side. Remember, there are two sides that you will need to tighten. Okay, I'm gonna take this, put it under, and I'm gonna put it on that nut and to hold it so I can so I can tighten it. And I'm gonna tighten it from up top because it's just easier to tighten it from up top. And then this other side. The other side's pretty, pretty tight already. Okay, right here, I'm attaching the water to the fill valve. And the water is off. You want to make sure it's off before you start anything. And once you get the water hooked up, you just turn the water on. And there you go. On this adjustment here, if you if you turn it to the right, like this, if you do it clockwise, then it will make the water go higher. Counterclockwise will make the water go lower. And now we can test it out. It works perfect. There you go, we have a fixed toilet.